Hey folks, hello and welcome to the Divi Machine video documentation. My name is Roby and today we're going to be looking at a brief overview of Divi Machine and the modules included with Divi Machine that are custom coded for you to use. You'll find other great Divi Machine resources on our documentation site at help.diviengine.com, which will also be linked in the description of this video. If you get stuck with more complex challenges, definitely feel free to reach out to our amazing support team and they'll help you find a solution. Now, before we get started, let's make sure that we've been updated to the latest versions of Divi Machine, the Divi theme, and WordPress. Now, once you've got that all squared away, let's jump right into it. Okay, so to show you guys all the different modules included with Divi Machine, we're gonna go over to pages here. Then we're gonna add a new page. Just name it whatever you want. But uh, once it loads here, just add a section and a row, and then I'll click here on Add Module. Okay, so the first module on the list is the ACF item list. This displays one field created in the Advanced Custom Fields plugin. Next is Archive Loop. This displays basically just all of your posts that you have created. Next is category loop, and this will, of course, display your different categories. We've got filter posts here, and guess what this does? It filters your posts based on certain features and settings that you select. Then we've got the gallery and slider module. This displays, of course, a gallery of the images or a slider of the different images associated with your post. We've got order by, so this basically just puts a button that lets you order your post based on certain features. Then we've got post carousel, and of course this will display your various posts as a carousel. Okay, then post meta, and this of course displays your post metadata. We've got the post slider module, and this will display all of your posts in a slider fashion. The post title, of course, will display your post title. Then we've got the repeater, and this will repeat the type from um, the ACF, the advanced custom fields. Next up is search posts, and this will display search posts. Then we've got the view posts button, and this is used with the custom loop layouts. And lastly, we've got the thumbnail, and this will display any post thumbnails that you have configured. And that is it, folks. I really hope that this video helped you better understand the various modules that you'll find in Divi Machine. And again, if this video did not cover exactly what you were looking for, definitely check out our documentation at help.diviengine.com for more text and videos which will help you master Divi Machine. As always, definitely contact our incredible support team with more complex challenges that might come up and they will do their best to help you out. And with that, this is Roby from the Divi Engine team. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye for now.